Welcome to the world of amazing animal survivors. Hi, Henry. What's wrong? You look a little nervous. Oh, nothing. I I'm just fine. I I'm just hanging out, you know, enjoying the view. You wouldn't be up there because of that shark, would you? Oh, no. Uh, I, I just like it up here. It's such a nice view. trying to survive, all right? It's okay, Henry. He hasn't seen you. But your survival technique leaves a little to be desired. Is he gone yet? Lots of animals need to what? learn to survive and stay alive in a harsh and dangerous world. Tell me about it. Hey, are we going surfing? No, we're going surviving. It's really tough out there, and animals need strategies to help them survive. There's huge waves, baking deserts, wind, rain, and even bubbling hot lakes. Where's the tea bag? Here in East Africa's Great Rift Valley, these geysers reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Jacuz, me! Ooh, that's hot! And dangerous. It should be a problem. But these flamingos use it to their advantage. They can stand these harsh conditions, so here they're safe from predators. It's their strategy for survival. So they like getting into hot water. It's gonna be cold, Henry. Just remember that animals like the Arctic fox and snowy owl have to be specially equipped to survive. Yeah, well, I bet I could do that. Ooh. I think it might be a lot harder than you realize. Mm, it is a little cold, and my toes are all tingly. Lizard feet aren't the best equipment for these cold conditions. I don't th care. I know I can do it. I'm sure I can. Many animals do have the equipment to survive on top of high mountains, where bad weather always threatens and the sun never seems to provide much warmth. That's quite a feat. Well, actually it is. Here on top of Mount Kilimanjaro, temperatures can drop to below freezing at any time. The survival strategy of these African rock hyraxes is to cuddle together to keep warm. When the sun does come out, they eat fast because they know that the weather can change again very suddenly. I bet you can never guess what animal they're related to. Guinea pigs? No. Hyraxes are actually related to elephants. Elephants? Elephants? Excuse me. That's amazing. The temperature drops again and snow falls. The hyraxes have their thick, coarse hair to help them survive in the sub-zero weather. But they still need to huddle together to save heat if they're to survive until the sun comes out again. They've been surviving this way for a long time. Ancestors of the Hyrax were around 40 million years ago. That's a lot of cuddling. Unlike lizards, they have specially adapted feet with sticky pads which help them grip on the slippery ground. 
Hyraxes are just one of many creatures that can survive in cold environments where most other animals wouldn't last more than a few hours. Mm, I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps. You'd be surprised, Henry. Life is full of ingenious animal survivors. These lemmings have a simple but effective survival strategy that helps them get through the blizzards and cold of an Arctic winter. They make their burrows in between the frozen ground and the snow. That thick layer of snow works just like a blanket, insulating the lemmings underneath, keeping them warm and cozy. It's even warm enough for lemming babies to be born without fur and still survive. Tundra, sweet tundra. How are you dealing with the cold weather, Henry? Excuse me! You know, the real secret to surviving in very cold places is keeping warm. Duh! Do you know how the sea otter survives? Ooh, blubber? No. The sea otter is the only sea mammal that doesn't have an insulating layer of blubber. I did not know that! Ooh, so how do they survive? Sea otters survive by having the thickest fur coats going, with around 800 million hairs in each one. 800 million? Boy, who counted all of them? Their thick coats trap air for insulation, and they're waterproof, too. Essential when you live in Alaska and spend most of your time in the icy water. Is this one on lunch break? Not for long, Henry. There's always a crisis when it comes to surviving in the wild. Animals have to survive in hot weather, too, like the meerkats and this mere lizard. Excuse me, I'm an exceptional lizard. And you're not the only one. These animals have exceptional techniques to survive in places where there's too much sun and too little water. Hot feet? Excuse me, I'm walking here, but this sand's hot. Africa hot, and it's even hotter when you have to slither. Huge areas of the world, like Africa, have hot deserts in them. Like there are cold deserts. There are. A desert is a place with little or no rain. Deserts don't have to be hot. They just need to be dry. Well, this one looks hot, hot, hot. It is. And this sand lizard keeps shuffling from foot to foot, allowing only small parts of its body to touch the scalding hot sand at any one time. That's his technique for surviving the heat. Is that one of those mere fellas? Mere cat, Henry. Relatives of the mongoose. Cats? Goose? Make up your mind. Mere cats survive in the desert by living in family groups. They all look out for each other. What do you mean, look out for each other? I mean just that, look out. It's this guy's job to keep watch for dangerous predators. Like eagles? Yes. Hmm, be careful, little meerkats, when your goose is cooked. Don't worry, the meerkat guard has seen it and warns the whole family. The family that works together survives together. But many desert animals aren't team players. They live on their own and have to survive by using ingenious methods. What's he doing? Hand stands? No, fog stands. Huh? This is a fog stand beetle. It's letting the morning mist condense on its shell. Then it angles its body very carefully and lets the water drops run into its mouth. 
The only moisture any animal can get in the Namibian desert is this early morning dew. Amazing! I could do that! Hey, Henry, do you know where you're going? Of course I do. I'm letting these tracks lead me home. You're sure that's going to work? Of course. Why not? Uh, to me, it looks like you're going in circles. Oh, dear. I'm lost. Well, maybe he can help you. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm so confused. Many animals 